it is way too early to be awake right now. I'm very tired. So I literally forgot that I was supposed to be vlogging this week until literally about 10 minutes ago when I was brushing my teeth and I was like wait a second I feel like I'm supposed to vlog today and I did that counter that in when I was thinking about how long it takes me to get ready. So now I'm here gonna have to vlog while I'm getting ready. So hi guys welcome back to my channel. <laughs> um, basically my camera is still broken so to me i'm upside down but i think to you guys i'm the right way around but it's just bear with like i'm vlogging and my face is upside down but anyway so this week is my first like week of exams like end of semester one exams my exams technically started last week because we had like one exam last week but it was like for a module that like i would i don't want to say it doesn't matter but it's like not serious modules basically like, it's not i didn't revise for it i kind of just went in there vibes um but the proper exam start today yeah yeah i have my research methods exam if you don't know already i do psychology and can we bear in mind that i'm supposed to leave this place in 12 minutes yeah clearly don't have time to straighten my hair but i need breakfast so i'm just gonna hurry up and hot comb this and then go and get like a coffee because guys who told me to go to sleep at 2 a.m last night bear in mind my exam starts at 9 30 meaning i had to wake up I have to leave at 9 o'clock, which means I have to wake up at like 7.30 and I went to sleep at 2.30. Like, what the heck? Like, literally, me and my friend Chloe were revising um, together, like, testing each other. Um, and, we, and, like, we were testing each other from, like, 7 o'clock. And then, like, it got to, like, maybe 8 or something or whatever. And then we went to go get, like, McDonald's for breakfast. For, for breakfast? Guys, I'm tired. We went to get McDonald's for dinner. And then we were just eating it in our com and we were in the kitchen and we were just talking, talking, talking. And then next minute I know it's 1 a.m. And in my head I was thinking, no, it's fine. Like, as long as I get at least like seven hours of sleep, then I should be good. So I'm thinking it's 1.30 now and I have to wake up at 8, at 7.30. So that's six hours. And that's when I was like, okay, cool. I need to go to sleep now. So I go to my room and I'm bare tired, yeah. And then I take up my contact lenses and I wash my face and I brush my teeth. And all of a sudden I'm like wide awake bear in mind we also drank coffee like 30 minutes before that why i drank coffee at like 1 a.m don't ask me because i'm the type of person that coffee actually affects me if i drink coffee i'll actually stay awake so now i'm bare awake and i'm just sitting on my phone on tiktok but i didn't even realize like how late it was and then it got to a point where i looked at the time and i'm seeing all 2 30 i'm thinking wait if it's 2 30 that means i have five hours to sleep like who the heck turns up to an exam with five hours of sleep i know some people be out there doing that but not to me i don't do that i normally get like a very restful sleep. So now I am extremely tired this morning, yeah. Tracksuit and Crocs and my North Face jacket. And I'm not curling, I'm not straightening my hair. You're lucky I even put on eyelashes. Um, in terms of how I feel for this exam, I feel okay. I feel okay. Like basically all most of our modules are like assessed by coursework and exams. So we've done all the coursework stuff. I'll probably explain that to you guys a bit more in depth later on in this vlog because like I said I'm actually very tired right now, my eyes are stinging. Um but just as a summary for this module of research methods, we've already done the coursework for it and that was what was actually causing me stress. Like guys, that report is the reason why I dropped out of uni. I didn't drop out, I just left it like super early and went home for like five weeks. That was the reason because it's making me depressed, it's making me stressed out. So at least that part is done. So that's why I feel I feel like that's why I feel like this can't be that bad because like if it's not as bad as that report, like do you know what I mean? Like it's like once you've experienced like bad it's like you have a new standard like you have a new thresholds kind of thing so i'm not that stressed out for this exam and also thank god all of our exams are multiple choice so it's not really about active recall it's about whether you like understand it so it's like if i see the answer will i remember that that's the answer kind of thing so it's better than at least like written exams where like you have to remember the information you have to say it in your own words like that's all long um but you know what i'm gonna be fine in jesus name like we only need 40 percent to pass and obviously like i know i shouldn't be aiming to just pass like i should aim to do better but at this point your girl just needs to pass so i can go to second year because ain't no way because like basically if you don't pass you have to reset the exam in summer and anybody trying to do that Two 
hours later. So guys, I just got back from my exam. I had to quickly go like food shopping after because I forgot that like I had no food here. But guys, I am so tired, it's unbelievable. In terms of my exam, like it actually went okay. Like I remember that the first few questions I was like I actually knew the answer, so I was like already saying like thank god, like I actually it seems like this exam's going well. And then like each question it just felt like okay cool, either I know the answer or like I don't and I could just guess like kind of thing like I felt like I definitely passed because like I told you that I need 40% to pass so I definitely passed um but yeah I'm just really really tired I can't lie I think out of all three of the exams I have this one was like the one I'm least scared for just because like one research methods this module we have we done it at a level so it's like a lot of it is the same as a level so not a lot of it is new content kind of thing it's kind of just like remembering from a level and then a little bit of extra like uni content and then but then tomorrow no wednesday's exam is the one i'm the most scared for which is psychobiology because it's the module that i hate and i hate it because it's literally biology um so i think me and chloe are gonna revise later for that but as of right now i need to go to sleep like right now i'm experiencing the worst conflict I, I hate having this conflict and it's when I'm hungry and tired at the same time because it's like I'm hungry because I want to eat so I want to eat but like I'm too tired to eat like I just want to go to sleep but I can't lie the tiredness is overruled I'm going to sleep right now like, like in case you want to come Birmingham I guess and do psychology if you wanted to know like basically in semester one you do like you do four modules um research methods developmental psychology psychobiology and developing skills developing skills is the one where i said like it's bare relevant and that's when we had last week the test for it is like pure exam like it's 100 exam you just do a multiple choice exam and that's your grade um and it's just about like plagiarism and like that library skills it's just be oh, i hate that module that's why i didn't really go to the lectures for it that's why i'm that's if i was gonna fail any of the modules would be that one because I actually barely attended the lectures for it because I didn't know it was important until I found out we have an exam for it I thought it was just like to help you like if you don't know what plagiarism is or like do you know what I mean I just thought it's like an optional kind of thing but it turns out it's not um and then yeah um the other subjects like research methods it was like it was 50% coursework 50% exams so we had to do like a um a report um about like a topic about friendship or something so we had to conduct our own interviews and then write a report about it and i think it was like 1500 words that was like stress because like i'd never done a report before so like that was so bad i don't know why they made us do that so early on in the year um so that was what i was like crying about and what made me leave university to begin with but um that's already submitted and we haven't got our mark back for that yet so i'm a bit scared because I, I think they're gonna give us back our mark like any day now like in the next two days probably while i'm recording this vlog so you sort of gonna find out what i got seen um and then the other half 50 percent was the exam i did today so yeah anyway psychobiology that's um i think 50 percent 50 percent exam which is on wednesday and then the other 50 percent was that course because we had to do like a we had to do an essay outline it wasn't a full essay it was just like the first paragraph and like the introduction of the of an essay we had to do a mock exam which was also multiple choice and yeah those two were worth 50 percent together and then the exam on wednesday the other 50 percent and then developmental psychology um is 50 percent course so 50 percent exam so we had to do a thousand word essay which is the one where i don't know if i said it in this vlog i think it was in the previous vlog that's the one where i said i got 72 like i got first in that essay and i was saying how like i did not expect that like honestly that essay and the research methods report were the two things that were stressing me out and the two things i thought i would do absolutely rubbish in so when i came when it came back that i got 72 out of 100 which is the first i was like flipping out i was the only aiming to pass like to get 40 percent and i said i got 72 so yeah overall like the worst exam is one Wednesday like the worst exam is the next one that I'm gonna do so I'm a bit scared for that one but I'm just gonna try to rise as much as possible but today is just a busy day like, I just did I was supposed to go to the camera shop to go like talk to them about my camera I don't think I'm gonna do that today I cannot be asked to go outside it's too cold there's too much things to do like one I need to sleep two I need to edit three I need to revise and four I need to cook dinner which means that like my evening is already dedicated to cooking so it's like i don't know what i'm going to do man i don't know but all i know is right now sleep is needed i'm going to do that right now it's a sticker it's a sticker it's a sticker 
<laughs> Why don't you like it with my face like this? I'm good at this. Put powder like this. Why don't you put your face on? Mum. Though. Like, it's actually hilarious. I just want to know why they were right. Mom, look. Mom, look, 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 look. Look. <laughs> right, so I am annoyed because I have to go outside. Like, why am I outside right now? It is cold. I am tired. I just woke up from my nap and I was on the phone to my mum as you got saw and I basically concluded that I have to go to the camera shop today rather than tomorrow to fix my camera because when I spoke to them on the phone yesterday they were saying like oh most likely we're gonna have to keep it for like five to seven days and obviously um my exams finish on Friday and I have a two-week break from uni so my mum's trying to go on a holiday next week meaning that like the longer I leave it to go to take the camera to them like that means I have to stay in Birmingham for longer meaning I can't go back home to London and like do you know what I mean? I'm trying to go back home to London like straight after my exams finish. So I concluded that I have to go to the camera shop now, which is so annoying because I wasn't trying to go outside right now. Like, was, and the thing is, yeah, the time it is right now, where's my phone even? The time is 3.31. All the little dirty school kids are coming out of school, yeah. So like there's bare traffic, like literally, I will show you as well, but I don't want to bait out where I am. But literally there's just bare traffic, just bare traffic everywhere and I just can't be asked for it. And I think it's like, I think it's like a 20 minute drive all the way there and then I also need like, I was supposed to edit, I was supposed to revise, I was supposed to do all these things and like, I should not be outside right now, I should be in my accommodation. I don't know if I, if you don't know what's wrong with the camera, basically there's some screws that I'm missing, like it came out so now the screen is like loose, so I basically need to get the screws and screw them back in. Oh, 23 minutes. Um, so like if they don't have the screws, there's a whole thing where they have to like, order it in and stuff like that but i'm hoping that maybe they just have it in stock inside the shop so then i don't have to give them my camera for seven days because that's a bit long i've literally been doing circles around this place because basically what the hell i couldn't find any like parking spaces that don't flip in look like this yet like you see how the car is like half on the pavement half not like i hate like, i don't i didn't want to park like that because like I, I think we're on like a hill like Birmingham's bare hilly yeah so like all the cars are like proper like i don't know if it's me like every all the cars that i've seen parked like that like their tires just look bare flat and i don't know if it's like their tires were already flat and then like, obviously because they're parking at an angle and putting pressure on one side of their wheels and making their wheels look more flat but i just think or if i don't know if it was actually the way they're parking that's making their wheels flat but all i know is i just didn't want to park like that so i was actually just trying to drive around drive around trying to find somewhere to park that doesn't require you to park like that and now I'm deep in that I could have parked here I didn't see that space um so yeah basically I had to park like a five minute walk away from the place and now I'm gonna like, walk into it another thing is that the where it's directing me to go is taking me like here to some like back road place I'm just gonna go there anyway hopefully I don't get murdered because what the heck like when I was driving it took me down here and then I just drove and it was a dead end and then it's taking me this way to walk as well how's it telling me the shop is here but I don't see no shop no I can't lie guys I'm actually deeply deeply confused why is it telling me I'm here what do you mean I'm here there's nothing here oh wait I need gadget repair this way this way to where though? Oh my gosh, if it's actually in this place, so you're telling me I could have literally like parked here. But well, what kind of dodgy shop is this? Like, why is it like, why is it like that? And which one is, oh, I'm so confused. I'm so confused, I'm so confused. I am so confused. Oh, it's here. Guys, I'm so scared. This shop looks so beaky. What the heck? No, no, I can't lie, no. 
Um, oh, I don't know what to do. I don't want to leave my camera. It looks bare booky, bro. What the hell? Mm. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I'm going home. <laughs> no, I'm actually not. Guys, I'm so I'm so I'm so annoyed. Oh my god. Are you telling me I drove 22 minutes to a shop that looks like that? No. Let me Google it because there's no flipping way. I called these people and they sounded like professional people. How is that their shop? There's no way. Oh my gosh, there's actually no pictures of their shop because that's the flipping shop. Are you being serious? Oh my god. This is why, this is why Birmingham is not the place. I don't give a heck, I'm taking this camera back to London and I'll get it fixed in London because what the heck is that? How are you bringing me to some dodgy place and you telling me you want me to leave my camera in that, in that shed? It's basically a shed. It's a shed stuffed with camera parts. Like, no. Maybe if I like, if it was like a, um, a toy camera, not a toy camera, like just a camera doesn't mean anything, fair. But this is my camera. You think I'm gonna leave my camera in that place? That place looks dodgy as hell. There's no workers. I thought it was an actual shop. <sighs> She's me, I came all this way. Oh my gosh, guys, no, no, I'm so upset. And my petrol's already low. I drove for 22 minutes, drove around the block like three times trying to find a parking space, found a parking space that was six minute walk away, walked six minutes to the shop to find out that the shop is a shed and they expect me to leave my camera there for seven days for it to be fixed and expect to get it back. <sighs> I'm so deeply upset. Anyways, I need to go to Asda now or like out like just any shop to buy goose facts and basically for dinner i'm having a ro like not a roast like i'm having steak potatoes yorkshire pudding and gravy but i really like the way my mom makes her potatoes so i asked her how she makes it on that facetime call and she says she uses goose fat so i'm going i need to go buy goose facts also the other day i literally like bashed my car can you see like these look at this i've done all of that yeah i can't drive no i can't lie get me home like guys there's so much flipping traffic yeah and it's saying it's gonna take me 27 minutes to get home bearing in mind it took me 20 minutes to get here meaning that the only reason why it's 27 minutes is because of the traffic right now the maps is saying yellow traffic like ugh. people are not driving properly and it's getting on my nerves like, I, i've concluded now that i've been driving for about six seven months how long has it been may june july august september october november december january eight months there's no way May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, January. Must have been driving for eight months. I literally thought it was at like six. Anywho, um, in my eight months of driving, I've concluded that I do indeed have road rage. Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. um, people get my nerves on the road, but the thing is, because I'm already not in the mood to drive right now like i'm not actually supposed to be here any little thing is just getting on my nerves someone pulls out when they're not supposed to pull out why are you doing that someone starts driving slow when they're not supposed to drive slow why are you doing that any type of congestion why are you doing that can everyone just drive so i can get home like literally look at this just still traffic that's the only reason i'm even able to vlog right now because you don't snap and drive guys i would never be on my phone on my camera if I was properly driving because it's dangerous, especially when the camera's flipping broken, I have to hold it a certain way for it to even do what it needs to do. So yeah, get me home. And I'm starving now as well. Like I've literally not had oh my gosh, I keep on doing this, like but you know university is actually like it's actually a problem. Like you don't eat. Like when you're in charge of your meals, you realise that you why why must just go then man, just go. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, just go. Cause don't get on my nerves, man. Just force yourself there, so you might as well. That's nothing. You know what it is? My biggest pet peeve about driving, yeah. Let me tell you something, because I'm gonna rant now. My biggest why is it blurry? Why am I okay? My biggest pet peeve about driving is when people don't like assert their dominance. Like not even assert their dominance, they just don't they don't do what they're gonna do like say they're trying to do a maneuver it's like they do it half-heartedly and it gets on my nerves like if you're gonna cut in cut in if you're gonna turn turn like do you know what i mean so this car in front of me yeah 
he's come out from the right yeah and because the, his because the right hand side of the road was clear and my side of the road was like traffic he basically came in halfway through the road so i had no choice but to let him go otherwise he'll be like in the middle of the road doing nothing so obviously i'm i've stopped to let him go but he's taken bare long to just go in front of me like he's acting bare slow about it and stuff like that just gets my nerves like if you're gonna do something just do it like just do it like do you know what i mean like just do it like gets my nerves and it's being bare slow bro on our way back from shopping um basically like on the road that i park in in my com is like the most annoying road to park on because like basically you turn right into the road yeah and you're gonna want to parallel park on the left but then like when people turn right behind you it's difficult because like, if they hit chopping your bum too quick then you can't now reverse into like parallel park because it all of the, it's always full there so you're always going to end up having to parallel park like it's never like you can go forward in like you always have to reverse parallel park so i mean um so this van comes i turn right into the road and this van i can see he's behind me so i quickly indicate left so he knows i'm going into this space so give me room to reverse because obviously you need to go forward and then reverse back he decides no i'm not gonna give you room i'm gonna be hitch up in your bum so he's stopped right behind me so i'm thinking okay cool if you're not gonna um give me space to reverse then you're gonna have to go around me because i can't move until you move basically he's now stopped and the cars in front of me have given him like space for him to go around me but instead of him to go around me he's staying there trying to wait for me to do the maneuver or, or wait for me to drive or something and i'm trying to say like i can't move until you move because what do you want me to reverse into your car like i can't parallel reverse parallel park until you move out the flipping way and then he bear beeping at me and i can see his face like doing all that like, oh, ha oh, like that and i'm thinking what do you mean ha oh, ha oh, like bro the reason why i'm not moving is because you're not moving and all the other drivers can see that you're the one that's supposed to go around me that's why they gave you space to do it and you didn't want to do it so them lot just gave up because they're thinking like this guy's not even trying to like go around so let's just um let's just go and then eventually he decided to go around me and i looked him in the face he tried to look at me to see like oh who's that who's the annoying driver behind bill but i'm looking at him like no you're the annoying driver because why are you why are you being flipping annoying and by the way this was like early in the morning after my exam like, i'm really like bare tired and that and just people just getting my i can't lie i feel like this quince literally all i do in here is rants but guys like i said i'm trying to find goose fat yeah for my potatoes and i went to tesco and they were like it was a like tesco express in it so they were like oh I don't, we don't have it like we only really sell at christmas and i'm thinking okay cool like it's a small store like fine so i went to aldi i look around the whole shop aldi's this year a mess like <laughs> it's a mess so then i went to the the workers so i was like i can't be asked to keep on looking and then um i ask him I'm not gonna drive that. I ask him, oh, do you have goose fat? And he's like, oh, I don't know if we still sell it. I think we only sell it um, during Christmas time. I'm thinking, why is everyone saying that? But then he went to go ask one of his um, colleagues, and then she was like, yeah, we only sell it at Christmas time. I haven't seen it like since. And I'm like, so where the hell am I supposed to go find goose fat? So now I'm gonna go Sainsbury's. It's like all of this extra being outside. Like, I told you that I'm not supposed to be outside, and so many things are happening that's making me be outside for extended periods of time. Like, I just want to go home. Guys, I'm in Sainsbury's, and I'm looking around, and so far, I cannot find any goose fat, and like, there isn't any. I'm gonna beat someone up, so I'm gonna go ask someone. Excuse me. Um, do you sell uh, goose fat? Goose fat, number 20. 20. 20. 20. As you're looking at it, yeah. halfway down on the right hand side of okay. the aisle. Okay, All thank right. you. Honest here. £4.30, flipping hell, man. <sighs> Just for a bit of goose fat. Anyways, at least I have it. <sighs> Finally back in the warm comfort of my room okay um basically i'm gonna it's 5 30 now and guys i literally still have not had a single meal today can we think that i've literally done i need to stop doing it because i actually lose weight and i'm already skinny so it's like losing weight will start becoming borderline anorexia so like i need to start eating meals like three meals a day again but i just can't be honest i'm too early to like have dinner because like the thing is if i have dinner too early like, i don't have lunch basically so it's too late to have lunch but it's too early to have dinner because i have dinner now i'm going to be bare hungry and that so i'm going to revise for 30 minutes and then at six o'clock i'm going to start cooking my dinner because like i feel like it'll take long so then by seven i'll be eating so then that's kind of like dinner time and then later 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 in the night i'll just like have a snack but i'm just trying to get through i've got like a um a checklist um for my january exams as you can see for each topic I've got each topic written down from each week. My iPad's really dirty. This is really embarrassing. But as you can see, um, yeah, I've only done one. And I need to do all of these by Wednesday. Which is in two days.
the next day. So the aim for today is to spend the holiday revising fun. Um, to, it's like it's 1 49. I was supposed to like start the day earlier to be honest because I was supposed to spend the whole day revising because yesterday I literally only done like 30 minutes that I showed you guys because after I made my food I didn't revise again after that because it was like too late at night and like Lavanna was starting and stuff like that. So um, I have all the topics to go over before tomorrow and I'm meant to do that all today so I think I'm going to be spending a lot of my day revising which is a bit annoying but oh well. Um, I decided this morning I decided to cut like these things. They're not like they're not it's not a fringe but it's just like basically i wanted to layer my hair at one point but i was too scared um but then this wig is like the hair is greasy right now because basically i think because i greased my scalp before i put the wig on it makes like the grease is starting to seep through so like now the actual hair is greasy so then yesterday i decided okay i'm just gonna have it somewhat down to like hide the fact that it's greasy until like the end of the week when I take it off and wash it again um but then I was like okay today I'm gonna have some ups and down again but I'm gonna have the two front bits so then I pour out the two front bits and I was like actually I want the two front bits to be like shorter so I literally like grabbed it like this and I got random scissors and I just cut it like down like that and I think it looks cute and I'm also doing no lashes babe okay because it's not everyday wear lashes right sometimes be bare face also um i've sorted out i found a solution to the camera thing i realized that the screws that have become loose that like you can buy it online and surprisingly i found that it's actually common like pe other people have complained about how like the screws become loose like, i thought it was because like i dropped it and so i feel way like less guilty but yeah apparently it's because like the screws do get loose like um, for Canon cameras but other people's like they will notice that it became loose so then they'll just scrape back in whereas me I didn't notice that it was becoming loose until it really fell out so um yeah basically I had to order the screws online from eBay um and then I also ordered this like nuts and bolts like screw holder thing because I saw in some YouTube video this guy was saying like even if you screw in the screw again it might still become loose so to stop it from becoming loose in the first place you put this thing at the like tip of the screw and then screw it in so anyways i bought that as well and i think that's going to come back tomorrow again to my london house um so i'm going to try and fix the camera myself basically and i feel like that'll work out cheaper okay so guys i've just got basically remember how i told you for research methods um we had an exam and also a report right and that was the report that was stressing me out and i was scared that i didn't pass so i just went on my like university thing to check if they released our grades for it and i've just seen they have and i got 68 out of 100 and i am happy with that honestly i'm worried guys like i said i needed 40 percent to pass and i got 68 like i'm so happy that like, guys this report was giving me stress i was crying real tears and i got 68 i don't know what that is I think it's a 2 1, but I'm so happy. I'm actually, guys, God is good. God is good because, bro, do you know the way I was stressing over that report? I was stressing. Really happy about that. Um, and yeah, no, nah, <laughs> I can't lie. Like, the thing is, yeah, like, you sort of probably thinking, like, oh, like, you done well on your GCSEs, you done well on your A levels, like, why are you shocked that you done, like, that like you passed? In this but i'm telling you guys this degree thing is a completely like it's been completely different to my a levels my gcse's like i felt like i've been like doing something completely new i feel like i've been blind like not blind like what's the word i feel like i've been in the dark that's the word i feel like i've been in the dark with this whole degree thing kind of just figuring it out as i go along i've had no experience doing any of this so like to me it didn't feel like i could just rely on the fact that oh yeah you always do well so like you're gonna do well here like no i could have easily failed this because i didn't know what i was doing kind of thing so to get 68 and to actually know that i've passed i am gassed the heck in fact let me even let me even try to FaceTime my mum because she knew how stressed out I was over this report. Yeah, I just want to tell you, you know that research methods report that I was doing when I was at home, that essay thing? We got our mark back and I got 68 out of 100. Which means I got a 2-1. <laughs> We're doing um, group revision for a topic that I don't know, so if you see me get all the answers wrong, don't judge me. I'm not dumb, I just haven't gone over it. Period. <laughs> okay. Um... How is cocaine ingested? Like, how would you take it in? Crisp, no, crack cocaine, yeah, smoke but, it. Yeah, and the other one? Snort it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what are the effects of cocaine? This sounds mad. Imagine this is our revision and we're talking about crack cocaine. 
<laughs> I promise this is related to psychology. What, yeah. like, and why are the effects of cocaine on the brain? Not long term effects, like actual like first time effects. Does it change neurotransmitters? What neurotransmitter? Dopamine. Yeah. How? <laughs> are you even using my notes as well? This is definitely. Oh, okay. Sainsbury's because we need um what's it called? <laughs> Stop laughing Red Bull. No, I'm not drinking Red Bull. I'm having Rockstar. Ew. Anyways, um you would only ever catch me vlogging this comfortably ah. because I'm with other people. I would never do this far by myself. Um yeah, it's only because Chloe's here, that's why I'm feeling brave. But anyways, oh they have like the purple one. Which are you getting? Rockstar? Yeah, I don't like Red Bull. They have this Red Bull and it's so nice. Oh they don't have it. Or should I get Red Bull because I know it? but then it's cheaper. Oh, so it might be in the um yeah, cold and frozen section. What this? The purple one? Maybe. We'll check, but for now. Just get it now and then. But it's not cold this, anything. No, no, like, there's like a, you know the mildew section? Mm -hmm. They sometimes have like, okay. even the red ones that I want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna get this, because it's a massive can and it's only one pound five. You know there's been times where like, when we drink alcohol, we mix it with this, the purple uh, one though, and it will have me up the whole time, but that's why I don't get tired. Anyways, yeah. You know that's not good? What? Like, you know, like, you know when you mess up red bull and vodka? Mm -hmm. it's, it's so bad for you. Why? Because, like, red bull, like, I can't which one, but one of them, like, increases your heart rate, and the other one decreases it. Like, it's so bad for you. <laughs> you used to get about 20% more of alcohol. 20? The minus marks. I thought I said I need 6. I want to 6%, but 20% out of that. Yeah, yeah. You need, like, because obviously the minus marks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So 20%, and how many questions are there? Wait, so you need 15, hold on. So we're calculating how much, how badly I can do tomorrow and mm -hmm. still pass. You need like maybe like 13 marks. Like Wait, is there 40, 40 marks? And there's 40 questions in Oh yeah, 40 for 60 minutes, isn't it? Yeah, so you're going to need like roughly like 12, 13 questions right to just get the marks you need. That should be good. Especially if I've, if I've learned everything before. Yeah. It's in my head somewhere, I just need to dig it out. I just need to pick it right. Yeah. Well, okay, let's I'm help scared. you. Yeah, no, we're gonna help you. What else do you want to do? You said you wanted to do the um. See, you can just chill now. <laughs> you you, 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 you do, Have you not seen the change in my mood? I've just realised that anything. there's no need to be stressed. But I was stressed before, can't I? Yeah. Because you know, if some of us just wanted to be with the ones. Listen, don't make it seem like I'm in this predicament because I cheated. Because I didn't cheat. It was an open book exam. I'd done what yeah. I was told. You, did you, you just told. didn't do what you I were told. Dumb. Yeah, That's you were dumb. So don't put it on me. Guys, the last mock exam we done was open book, as in we could literally Google the answers if we wanted to. We could check our notes. And this girl decided to do the work from her brain. Guys, can you deep that this is um, what she has bought to drink all to herself in this exact moment in time, as in it's all in one go? Um, we're currently trying to revise and be good students, but. Yes. It's very loud, it sounds like a party's happening and I want to have a party, you've got nine. We've got exams. Yeah. I can barely hear myself think, I don't know what's happening. No, I'm trying to like, I'm having to like scream. I know, I don't know if it was, I don't know if it was loud. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Certain people want to say hi to the vlog, I they just want to be famous. I'm already famous, what are you talking about? Tell them your name. No, I can't do that, because that's, that's oh, not no. Um, I go by the name of Bob Dillabob. That's Side eye. Mean. Front eye. This guy. Oh, this guy. Go and revive. This guy is just bad. It seems like I'm on serious YouTuber though, because I don't have my actual camera. If I had an actual camera, it would give the vibe more. Oh. I, 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 I have a YouTube channel. No, I have a camera. It's broken upstairs. Do you want me to pay, pay for um, Can you pay for an iPad? And then, and then yeah. that means yeah. I take 10% of your earnings. Do you know what? That sounds like a perfect You know what? How about 50%? 50% of your earnings? 50% of the earnings. Fifty each. Just take the whole hundred. Oh, shake it on camera, guys. You see this first, I guys. I'm taking all her earnings. So sub up, all her earnings. Sub up, sub up. Sub to. And I'm taking all the earnings. Safe. What's his name? Natalia Hines. Sub to Natalia Hines. Let me let me subscribe. Wait, what kind of lighting do you want? Tell me which one. Um, warm, saturated hue lighting. Do you wanna expand your business? I'm a businessman. Um, just be grateful with the flash. Yeah. I don't have to change it. Do you want to expand your business? doesn't even do anything. This no eyelashes look is very disgusting. The eyelashes on there. Is it that hard? I don't remember asking for your opinion. Just tell it. Yeah, yeah. I'll just... 
Okay. Watch your subscribers go up by like multiple tenfold. Watch. Oh, because they saw your thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And it seems to happen. Like, you see the, the 1.6 million video? 1.2. Oh, 1.6. Oh, you want to show me? I know you want to show me again. This is 1.6. Like, mm -hmm. I just have to wait 1.6. Have you shoot my shot and did it work? No. Of course no, it did. It works. What do you mean? I, what do you mean? Oh, but are you boyfriend and girlfriend? No. Okay, so it didn't work. Wait. Okay. Are you trying to check your own? Oh. This is the copy. This it's, is some shit. It's disgusting. It's not nice. I don't like it. You can't do that. Nice That's defamation of a brand. You should get sued for that. Now I can't work with that brand. Exactly. Now that promo deal is done. See? So Thanks, Chloe. Like, do, do you have an agent? An agent? Do you have an agent? Can you an show? Agent. Show me and have a sponsor deal. Manager. Sponsor deal, yeah. This is the best coffee ever. It's actually kept me awake. We're currently revising oh, at 1am. It actually has it though. What time is it? 1am. It's, it's actually 12 40 now. So it's basically 1am. It's 12 40 now. You can do whatever you like, man. Just but, you, but you could get cancelled. For you, I would get cancelled for you swearing. No, 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 but like, no, no, like, if I say like, like, you could get cancelled. You say You could get cancelled. What's he saying? What's that again? Free Andrew Tate. Oh yeah! I hear that. I hear that. He is an advocate for Andrew Tate. She said free Andrew Tate. Cancel him. Cancel him in the comments. I don't like Andrew Tate. I don't support Andrew Tate, guys. Really? No, no, no. You know someone's gonna like cut that bit of you now saying free. In it, in it, they'll put on YouTube. This black guy in Tanya's vlog said free Andrew Tate. Anyways, guys, I think. Stop my own channel, guys. Guys, if this video gets like twenty five likes. 25 what? Look how blick he looks. I, you're violent. What the same skin tone. So why am I? Because you have a flashlight in the corner so your no, fans not. can see you in the dark. No, don't, don't lie. Flash where? Don't lie. <laughs> Word. Anyways, we have been revising. It's actually been really productive. Flashlight. <laughs> hold on. You, you want to do that? Go to be loud on my name. Flash. Oh, shit. Hold on. Exactly. Anyways, you've been revising for quite a long time. I think you've been productive. You've been lying. Just don't lie to yourself. Really? I'm going to that. Yeah, I'm just testing her because I've gone past the time where information can enter my brain, so there's no point even trying to revise. And the stress but, has hit me, so I need to learn. Yeah, so she's going to learn. And also, because I only need, what was it, 12%? 6%. 6%. <laughs> yeah. I only need 6% tomorrow. And so some of us failed. I'm so. buying. Yeah. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Hey, you're looking. Hey! <laughs> and do you have a water bottle? I have a filter. What's up? Oh, I'm coming with you. I want to see your account. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my let's go. Let's see if everyone's let's room. Come, let's my, room, my room's a mess though. Okay, let's go. That is a dump. Come on. What is that? Huh? Liquid. Oh, this is a floor, right? You put it in, so it's ready. Hurry up! So it smells nice. Smell it. Nice. Smell it okay. Well, I'm just scared. Should I sell it? Yeah. Hey, you gonna look? Guys, it's 2am. It's what's next? Right, basically guys, to explain, I gave up on, not gave up on revision, but I retired from revision about a few hours ago because I already know that any revision that I learn now is not going to go into my head. However, Chloe, I'm here for moral support for her. I'm here to be her cheater, innit? I'm gonna say it's number 10, my favourite food. That's what about Hines? Oh, I'm gonna write Hines. Hines? <laughs> but right in my main spelling though. Yeah. Um, yeah, anyways, I'm helping her like with some of the topics that I still understand, but the topics that I don't understand, I have not touched them because I just feel like it's too late to like learn stuff. Also, if it looks like I'm not looking at the camera, it's because I'm not, because I'm vlogging on my phone. Oh, wait, I'm so, you, oh, so yeah, I'm just helping Chloe you guys. Um, I thought my flat was Mars. Um, yeah, this is so, so cool. No, that is absolutely. This is oh, what? Tomorrow is on the floor. Chai, look. I will never bridge. complain about my flat again. This no. Is no oh my god. It's usually clean. Oh, can I have ice? Actually, no, I don't understand. I mean, at least the sink is clean. How am I eating it? I just eat ice. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I was literally just saying, at least the sink is clean. That's disgusting. The next day. Right, guys, so it's the next morning. Um, Basically, we last night we ended up staying up until. I want to say 4 a.m. Obviously, I gave up on revising like a way before that, but my friend Chloe, like, she just wanted me to test her on a few things. Because, like, I don't know about you guys, but I realized that, like, everyone's different though. Like, I thought everyone was the same, but me personally, like, even in my A levels, I'm the type of person, like, last minute revision only goes to a certain extent for me. Like, it gets to a point where I just feel like any, like, I need to stop revising here because any information that I learn beyond this point, I'm not going to remember it and it's going to stress me out more, kind of thing. So, like, there was topics that I haven't done, um, and she was trying to kind of go over it with me, but like, it was just stressing me out. So, I was like, you know what, I'm just going to go in the exam with what I know and 
hope for the best kind of thing but obviously because i was testing her on some topics that i haven't gone through it kind of indirectly taught me the content as well so i guess i kind of revised a little bit but yeah the exam is at two this is way too hot it's one 11 past one so i'm gonna leave in like 20 minutes i'm just doing my hair how i feel for this exam to be honest, I don't feel very confident because basically we had a mock exam like before um, and it still kind of towards our grade. Like, I still done all right in it, but it was open book. And that exam was difficult. Like I started that exam thinking like, yeah, like, I'll know most of the answers. And by then, like that was obviously like, at that time I had covered all the content that we had learned up until then. So I was actually confident in my answers and the test was still just hard. Like a lot of the questions I had to like, use my notes to find the answer because it was open book so that's like making me more scared for this exam but because i done like kind of decent in like the coursework side because overall combined you only need 40 percent that means that like i don't have to do as well in this mcq test kind of thing so like if i don't do as well in this test i can still pass the whole module so that's the only thing that's kind of like <laughs> making me feel less stressed out at the same time i'm also trying to like find some outfits because basically my mum booked a holiday for straight after my exams I'm so happy about that so like my exam on Friday I've literally got a train ticket booked like at 12 my exam finished at 10 30 so I have to literally rush to the train station and go home because I'm going on holiday next week Tuesday to Egypt which I'll be vlogging obviously which is gonna be so good and my nail tech only had availability for Friday um, and obviously I need to get my nails up for the holiday so um I had to basically come home earlier I would have probably gone home on like I probably would have still gone home on Friday but I would have booked a later train ticket obviously because my appointment's at 3.45 and it takes like two hours to get home. I had to like, um, well three hours to get to her house um, from here. Um, I had to like book a train ticket ASAP. This is the exam fit. Three hours later. So guys, I just got back from my exam. I can't lie, it was actually okay. Mm. Mm, drag. <laughs> it was decent like. I think I definitely done well enough to pass. Some of the questions I was definitely guessing. Some of the questions I didn't know them though. So I just feel like, because obviously that's psychobiology done. And I just feel happy that the exam's over. That combined with the coursework I've done, I think I've done well enough to at least get 40%. And that's what I need to pass. So now I've literally got one more exam left on Friday. Today's Wednesday in two days. Today, I think I'm going to do some, I'm going to watch one of the lectures that I missed. And then I'm also going to edit. Like, guys. I don't know why I've got into the habit now of like eating like one meal a day like at uni like literally I don't eat breakfast anymore I don't eat lunch I literally just have dinner and also speaking of which I have no dinner today because I finished the steak so I need to go to the shop and buy chicken the next day I was literally supposed to be so productive today okay like I didn't do any revision yesterday because I wanted to like edit my video I was cleaning my room I was just doing like kind of admin stuff like clean my room who's my whole room and then i was editing my vlog so i was like okay cool today and then tomorrow today i'm gonna spend the whole day editing i'm gonna wake up early da, da, da. guys it is almost 3 p.m and i'm only just starting revision um and also my exam tomorrow is at 9 a.m so i can't even do like a whole 4 a.m all night i think because then i'll literally get no sleep so yeah i kind of fumbled because i've got a checklist for this module as well this is developmental psychology the module i'm doing and i've got a checklist last night me chloe and jess done some like late night revision for a little bit and i covered these two topics like these really short topics but i've got all of this to do but unlike with psychobiology i feel like with this i actually know more of it because i've done it like recently um and also i've done an essay on one of those topics so like i just feel like I do know things, but I'm just trying to go over it to make sure I remember for the test tomorrow. But I've calculated that because of how I've done on the coursework, I only need to, <laughs> I only need to get three questions right tomorrow to pass. But that's not what I'm aiming for. I'm aiming to do as good as I did in the coursework. Look how greasy this hair is. It's actually ridiculous. That's why my hair's been like in this hairstyle all week because it's literally greasy and I'm embarrassed like even these front bits are becoming greasy and i don't know how because it's not even touching my scalp so now i'm actually confused about how this hair even gets greasy but look all these bottom bits look how greasy that is ew anyways i'll be taking this wig off and washing it before i go to egypt oh i actually got um a parcel today let me show you something i finally got myself some power bank guys because literally i'm one of the people my mom <laughs> 
obviously my mum, yeah, she's literally always moaning at me because every time we leave the house, yeah, my phone is never charged because I forget that, like, obviously, I'm going to leave the leaving the house soon, so I need to charge my phone. So do you know the amount of times I've literally gone to work and I, like, when I'm leaving, I realise my phone's at like 50%. So by the time I come out of work, which is like a five-hour shift, my phone's literally on, like, 1%. And then I'm like, I asked my mum, oh, by the way, I'm on my way home, but my phone's going to die on the way there. So she's always telling me to get a power bank, so I got sent this power bank which i'm actually happy about because i'm gonna take it to egypt to me as well um so i can start charging my phone <laughs> while i'm out like a normal person because i can't remember to charge it before i leave um i think i've got two two power banks oh this is a smaller one this bigger one and this smaller one i'm guessing this one has a bigger oh yeah this one has a bigger capacity this one has a 2000 20,000 mah i don't know what that means but i just know that it's double the size of this one but yeah, I can't lie, I've been, I literally, everyone walks around with power bank and I think I just missed the memo. <laughs> like, I don't use power banks, I just leave the house and hope for this. I hope that my phone don't die. Ooh, there's a black one. Okay, I'm guessing this is the charger to charge it. Yeah. Wait, this is gonna, oh it does, I was gonna say, is it gonna be compatible with my charger? Because I've got the, um, my phone charger's the US, I think this is USB-C. So I think that's that's another reason why, oh my gosh, I just think that's the reason why I don't normally have power banks because my mum normally gets her power banks from Primark, but the ones in Primark, they have the other end, the thing is US, USB, I don't know the name of it, I'm not good, I'm not good with tech guys, but the Primark ones normally, like you know the old um, iPhone charger, you need those, so because I had the newer one, I could never use a power bank because it would mean I have to have a separate wire, like get a separate wire that I don't have. So this one's actually good because it means that I can put it's got like it's got all of the holes i can't lie like even if you have the old apple charger it has that one it has the samsung one is it samsung i think it's samsung and then it has my one so i'm pretty sure it's going to be compatible with like other types of phones Ooh, it's lighting up oh this is actually calm you know let's test it out yummy but, and these type of chargers because there's so much like power in them you can it literally last the whole day like literally you could be charging your phone and your phone won't die the whole day which is good because i'm tired of like my phone dying and nothing i don't like it my phone dies when i'm out because i can't listen to music <laughs> but let's open the smaller one because i feel like the smaller one is like more for like just throwing it in your purse kind of thing um if you don't want to carry around a fat power bank okay oh this one's so cute my favorite one no, this one's so cute yeah oh yeah look at that i like how they're black though as well has this one got my charger oh yeah this one's got my charging thing as well but this one's only got two holes though so like the old apple charger i need to know the name of it i don't remember the name but that type of charging port i don't know if you can see that and then it has my charging port which is good because that's what i care about going to egypt i'm trying to figure out which one i should take or if i should take both because this one is like more smaller so it will fit in my bag but this one's like slightly bigger and like heavier but then obviously it has more power so it'll charge your phone for longer so i think it depends because when we're in egypt there's um there's a day where we literally have to um break this sounds so mad the area we're staying in we're staying in her i was allowed to pronounce the name her her Garda? something like that but then the pyramids and like the camels and stuff are in cairo so there's like a tour like a tour thing where they like, pick you up from your hotel take you on the coach journey to cairo and then do the pyramids and all of that but my mom was telling me this coach journey is like seven hours long and i was like what and then obviously you're going to be there like the whole entire it's like basically like a whole 24 hour occasion so i think if I'm something like that I'm definitely gonna need this one i can't lie but like day-to-day -day things I'm gonna use the smaller one. I can't even have a power bank. I feel so like responsible. <laughs> no, I'm actually so happy that it, it like is compatible with my fast charger. That's it, what it's called. The fast charging iPhone charger. So there's the old one that's like slower, and then there's the fast charger which has the USB C um ending. So now if I use that means if I use this charger for my power bank, the power bank will also charge my phone faster because it's using a faster cable, so yeah and the power banks were affordable as well like they're not even that expensive i think the bigger one was slightly more expensive but they're both like affordable but yeah, if you guys are interested in getting a power bank you can check my description box below the same one that i got will be linked down below i think they have it in like different colors like white or something as well um and obviously it's compatible for like other phones like iphone samsung so yeah just check out my description box below i'll put all the links for 
the smaller one and the big one but yeah let me throw away all this stuff i defo just need to get to revision now because i can't lie i can't believe i've let the whole day go by me like it's basically the sun's gonna start setting now like deep it it's literally three o'clock and the sun starts setting at like four it's literally gonna be night time soon and i haven't done anything so i'm a quick time clean this up and get some revision done and then at some point i also need to pack my stuff but i'm in a predicament because basically to go on holiday i need i'm having like a big like 23 kg or 20 kg suitcase and then also you get a 10 kg hand luggage which is my smaller suitcase but both of them suitcases are here with me in Birmingham. but obviously i need them to be in london so that means that when i get on the train home tomorrow i need to have both suitcases with me which means i have to basically have to take two suitcases with me on the train which i'm actually guys i'm actually really embarrassed like, i hate taking like suitcases in public i find it embarrassing unless it's at the airport i think the airport is the only like valid place to, to have a suitcase on the train fair enough because obviously you're going from one city to another but two two suitcases so i don't know if i'm i'm gonna try and like because this is a small one and it fits inside the big one so i'm thinking if i fit all my stuff inside the small suitcase and then put the small suitcase in the big one and zip up the big one and then carry the big one it might be fine but this is how much clothes i need to bring so far and this is not even including my trainers so i don't think this is going to fit in there with my trainers inside which is really annoying unless i like put some clothes on like the edge bit but i'm really not trying to drag two suitcases like at all and i think that small suitcase is even disabled i don't think it even rolls properly <laughs> but um yeah i'm gonna figure it out if anything i might get like a, a separate bag like my duffel bag and put my trainers in that bag and then only put my clothes in this one yeah no no way it actually works guys i've just been revising yet and i'm packing my bag for tomorrow and you know how i told you that i was going to do the trick where i pack inside the small suitcase and then put the small suitcase in the big one look it actually works like this is a smaller suitcase and i put like all my jeans and that in there and then i've got like all tops on the side bits that are like in the big bit and then i'm just gonna fold it like this and carry it like as one suitcase so i don't have to be embarrassed with two suitcases and then i have a bag over here and because I'm only bringing three pairs of trainers, then it's fine. Oh, should I bring off? No, I'm not going to bring four. I'm going to bring three. Um, and they all fit in that bag. But I'm not putting it in there right now because, like, I don't want them to get creased up. So if they're going to be creased, at least they're only creased for two hours on the train. They don't need to be creased overnight as well. My mum's just been messaging me saying, remember to bring your passport. Because if I leave my passport here in Birmingham, it's a long day, I can't lie. It's Heavy and Chloe Revision Session Part 2. And this time, Part 3. Part three, but you only saw part one, so for you it was part two. Mm -hmm. But it was part three. Anyways, um, I'm trying this one this time. The other one was actually really disgusting. Like, it was literally so sweet for no reason. And you know when I went back upstairs and she like, scrubbed my teeth? I felt so dirty, bro. You know, I had to go sip or when you were like, cup hot, I threw it in the mix. Like, I <laughs> you know, for me, I at least drank like this much before I realized. You're going to break a bundle. I'm gonna break a bundle. Oh, yeah. No, but it's really nice though. It's really, really nice. Like it's very energetic. Yeah, and that, oh, twenty is. I will give it. It did make me sit up because that yeah. day we slept at like four. Well, I slept at four. Then what are you? I think I slept like an hour after you. Oh, okay. Well, this one's mango. So let's taste it. Another bundle. It smells like um. Um. What's that mango drink? Rubicon. Oh, it does. So this even taste like Rubicon. I should be like fizzy. Oh. Oh. It's, it's, the mango flavour saving it, but it's just so sugary. Like, how much sugar is in this drink? I don't understand. I think a lot. It's going to keep you awake tonight. It's really sweet. You, bro, you don't even have carbon. You still say you want to Oh my gosh, she literally says it is. Wait, it's actually purposely, like, the goal of energy drinks are actually to keep you awake. So I swear. No, I thought we were just using it that way, but I didn't know the brand actually advertised as like this. Yeah, is yeah, it's supposed to keep you awake. Oh, so you're saying it contributes to the reduction of tiredness and fatigue, high caffeine content. It's almost just warning high caffeine content. Have you ever read these labels before? No. It's just warning, bro. As in, like. Wait, how much caffeine does it say it has? Uh, okay. Do you want to read it? Anywho, we have our last exam tomorrow. Also, I'm not looking at the camera again because I'm recording my phone. I could have actually recorded my camera, but I lived upstairs. Did you fix it? No, but like, because we're just in here, it's not going to oh. break. Um, so if we end up going upstairs, I could just switch. <laughs> this has as much caffeine as this. As your coffee? Oh, wait, slightly less. This is 32 mg, mine's 34 mg. Uh, but then this has like extra sugar. 
Oh, your head is nice, it's curly. Oh, thank you. Okay. Yeah, anyways, um, we have our last exam tomorrow, so we're going to do some active reading because I was revising earlier on, but um, like I told you, so I started late, but I need to Chloe to do some active recall for me and test me, and I'm going to test her. We're in a different room this time. Let me show you. We're in a little study room. Oh, the light lights up here. Um, guys, a slight problem. Chloe has lost her key. Oh. Is it the... Oh my gosh, she's not... I'm not gonna address that. Oh, you actually, we just been up and down looking for this flipping key, and it was just you were sitting on it. Yeah. You dumb girl. Yeah. Anyways, we're having a little dessert break. We're going to get some cheesecake. Yeah. Because we deserve it. Absolutely. I'm doing absolutely Hardcore nothing, revision. What do you mean? Okay. We went through like three topics. Yeah. Out of how many? Out of eight. That's a good. It's almost fifty percent. And how long does it take us? <laughs> Only two hours. <laughs> three pound ninety-five. You better be flipping nice. What I mean? Um, I'm a bit confused here. Yeah, actually... <laughs> Are you actually gonna buy a kids magazine right now? No way. It's kind of cute. Last time bliss. Perfect. Do you know what? I, you know when I concluded that you're a child at heart. We know when um, the first day we came back and we saw you at McDonald's and you had a Happy Meal. No, no, I'm you're actually, you're not, actually, you're not actually. Okay. She buys Happy Meals and now she was buying Hello Kitty magazine. Do better, Chloe. Do better. Why is it so difficult to get out? <laughs> Wait, wait, give me a chance, give me a chance. Okay. Yeah, she just doesn't, oh. Okay. 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 <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah, right. okay. Okay, come on, lad. This is gonna be your one. <laughs> Guys, she's such a good host. Do you know wow. I mean? Yeah, no, yeah, this is. Oh. <laughs> this is your one. Okay, guys, look at the difference between it. <laughs> no, wait, I'm not done with it. <laughs> Yeah, well, um, do you know what? Actually, it's kind of cute. It's not. Mine looks more creative than yours. Exactly. So it's bad. Taste test. <clears throat> oh! <laughs> I wonder how hard it is. It is hard. Okay. I'm scared it's gonna like fall. So I'm gonna wants to give me the broken one. <laughs> oh, that'd be nice. It's really cold though. Because it's in the fridge. <laughs> but that's cold. That's all right. Oh my god! <laughs> we Hello, humans. Room. And you say that, we never lock the door. We never actually lock it. Can't lock the door? Oh, we can. Hello, humans. What time do you see them? Um, I, uh, my sleep time is fine. I woke up at 1 pm today. Are you finishing your time? Same! Uh, yeah, I finished on Wednesday. Uh, uh, uh. You're saying that when we we're going to be finishing tomorrow. Yeah, I want to be in shadows anyways. Sure. Um, yeah, tomorrow. You're gonna be in what? Actually, I'm going to challenge now, so I'm on my way now, but. So I didn't feel like it's a fault. Why are you going to challenge? Because I'm bored. She was going to say she was, she was coming over, but you now I'm like, oh, well, I'll just go to her because she's got the switch, so I can just play like. Oh, we're not going to be as good. Marriage and that. And then, yeah. I won't be playing today, obviously. Explain that to me. Yeah. You said that. I won't be smoking your cord. Oh, I think he's even be smoking after that. I don't smoke. Um, I never smoke. I never will We were playing cod yesterday. I think cigarettes are fun. You're disgusting. What? <laughs> I'm taking it. When, when people smoke a cigarette, it's a, a dish, uh, I hate it. Disgusting. Yeah, it's nasty. Like that. My asthma would kill me. So. You have asthma? Yeah. Damn, that's tough. Oh, you're recording? Oh, damn. I should not have said that though. Yeah, cut that out, please. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This is gonna incriminate me. Somebody's trying to kill me because you think she's got flipping peanuts in there. Stinking up. You want to eat peanuts? All nuts. <laughs> no. She said it. Was, I asked her, she's like, sorry, I'm going. She was like, no. Yeah, it's fine. I'm just saying it's like that suffering. And I was like, why are you saying? If you give it all so important, you're still recording, aren't you? Did you see me turn it off? <laughs> <laughs> I just thought everybody came with it. So I'm just thinking we're going to ask Queen as well. Cheers, great. Who are you then, Tim? Nothing. I had no idea. I know what you're not Tim. Go on. Telling the truth. Yeah. Guys, I'm currently being dragged to McDonald's at two o'clock in the morning against my will when I have an exam in approximately how long? Six hours? No, uh, wait. Seven, seven hours. hours. But I have to wake up in six. Huh? Why does he think that he's entitled to McDonald's for me? Can you get me an iPad? 
Oh, oh. iPads. First. Apple's picked with, with, with shit. Why is it so big for you? This is very embarrassing. It's not my coat. Can I have it? No, let, there we go. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> That's like, you know what I'm gonna say? Every time he's annoying me, I'm gonna catch him off guard on oh, YouTube. Just, we're currently running because it's too flipping cold and the camera's about to die. Guys, I've actually fumbled the bag. Um, guys, do, do you know what time? Let me even be quiet because people are actually sleeping. Do you know what time it is? Do you. I, it's 5 a.m. Two minutes past five to be precise. My exam is at 9 a.m., 9.30. I need to leave at 9 a.m. and I need to be awake by 8 which is in three hours. Who told, guys, who told me to stay up this late? And I promise you, I blame my friends. I blame my friends. Me and Chloe were literally sitting there peacefully revising. They came into the room. Next thing I know, we're talking, 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 giddy, 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 and it's 5 a.m. And like, I have to wake up in three hours. So, I don't know what I'm gonna do. That was the most unproductive revision session I've ever had in my life. The literally, all I'm banking on right now is faith in my Lord Jesus Christ that I passed this exam. And two, the fact that because I've done so well in the coursework, I technically only have to get about three questions right in this exam tomorrow out of 30. So that's making me feel a little bit better, but like, what the heck? Like, am I even gonna stay awake throughout the exam? Guys. It's 5 a.m. I can't even be talking here too tough because I need to get ready and get in that bed right now because I need to be, you know that, you know that sits up where it's like, oh, uh, you literally lay down like this and you have to get back up. That's me. That's me. Because why am I waking up in, in three hours time? And Chloe, she's a mad girl. She's still awake and she's not going to go to sleep. Like she's literally going to do it all night on. I'm surprised the sun hasn't even risen yet because it is actually morning. I have my exam today. It's not tomorrow anymore. It is today. Don't, that them energy drinks, don't drink them if you don't actually want to stay awake because what the heck, I should be asleep, I should be tired out of my eyes right now and look at me, like obviously I'm a bit tired but I'm mainly only tired because I have contact lenses in that are making my eyes dry. If I didn't have contact in, I'll be wide awake right now because that energy drink is dangerous. Okay, it might taste nasty but it's dangerous. If you want to stay awake, drink a flipping rock star. Three hours later. Wait, no, can you guys see that my eyes are slightly red? I don't know if you can see it on the camera. They look white on camera. I've literally just woke up and... <laughs> guys, I think I literally set like 10 alarms because I was so scared that I wouldn't wake up for my exam, but can I woke up for the first alarm straight away, jumped out of bed. Anyways, brushing my teeth, washing my face, about to put my contact lenses in, and I realised my eyes, like, like, my eyes are so freshly, like, open that they're still red. Like, I feel like, cause also, you know, last night, I kept my contact lenses in that whole time, which is like way surpassed the amount of hours you're supposed to have them in. Anyways, my eyes seem like red and they're like stingy right now, so I don't even know if I could wear contacts. But like, I need to wear contact lenses today so I can see because he's wearing glasses. So I don't know. I'm gonna hope that by the time I get in the shower and get dressed, my eyes pan up. But this is this is not the life. This is. This is not cute. Um, so guys, I managed to make it out of bed. Oh yeah, also I've got to tell you, you know, um, I was so yeah. tired that when I woke up this morning, my eyes were literally red and I couldn't put my contact lenses in. Yeah, so more of the story, don't be friends with people like Chloe, <laughs> Emmanuel, like people like that that are just, okay. any of the progress and just want you to not sleep and not pass your exams. I asked, I literally said to her, I feel bad, do you want to go see? She's like, no, I'm fine, I'm not tired. No, you didn't say that. That I was did. last time, that wasn't yesterday, that, don't try it. You didn't say I feel bad, you said, are you not tired? And I said no, because I wasn't, because oh. you made me drink Rockstar. I didn't make you drink nothing. Anywho, let's hope that I pass my exam. Anyways, Rockstar's dangerous, guys. Yeah, also, that's another thing. <laughs> I just want to put out to my fellow subscribers, because I care about your health, if you don't want to stay up do not drink the rockstar energy drink because, because it's lethal even if you might think oh yeah i'm just gonna take a sip of it no mm -mm. no no guys it's 9 a.m so i haven't slept yeah she's actually crazy because at least i slept for three hours she's flipping stayed awake the whole time don't know where the logic is and not only she stay awake she was even revising twenty times yeah oh now my crocs are bare muddy walking the canal way anyways um when I'm out of my exam, I'll tell you how it goes and I'll tell you what happens. You know what I did as well to stay awake? I, I opened the window. I blasted it open. The cold window? Yep. Right guys, I've just um, got back and I'm literally just booking an Uber to go to the station now. I've got all my stuff 
like ready to go home but yeah okay so the exam was actually all right i predicted that i would um finish early because we basically had 60 minutes to do 30 questions so like normally in one minute oh let me go to the toilet real quick yeah so um normally we um it was 60 minutes for 30 questions so normally like a question takes like one minute but obviously they're giving us two minutes per question so i knew i was going to finish the exam in like 30 minutes and that's why like, bare people are leaving early um so yeah but i thought i would just stay because like i knew my i didn't know if my friends in the other like chloe and jess they were having their exam in different buildings i didn't know if like if i leave early i'd have to wait outside for them and it was long so i just stayed till the end so i kind of finished it in 30 minutes and i just went over my answers it was actually okay like i feel like i definitely passed like, i counted up how many questions like i 100 percent need to answer to and it was like 15 of them out of the 30 so i know i definitely at least got 50 percent other questions is like it's 50 50 of whether i got it right or not but i'm happy like my exams are over like all of that stress but never again am i staying up until 5 a.m when i have an exam at 9 a.m okay let's not do that don't use me as an example in summary i think don't die for uni because it's not that deep it's actually your first year like you do need to pass but i guess like obviously get into the hang of like revising and like being like like responsible and like having some like discipline and like with your vision but it doesn't need to stress you out to that extent of like losing sleep or like anxiety or stress or any of that just make sure you pass okay but yeah i need to go catch my cab i'm gonna end this vlog here because obviously i'm literally just going to get my nails done today and then if it was just gonna be like getting rid of my holidays so i'll start up a new vlog on tuesday when i'm in egypt bull um but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and yeah in summary don't die for uni and don't go don't drink rockstar energy drink unless you want to stay awake for your whole life Bye guys. Was long, oh,